Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. We're going to take a look at the PS2 with the built-in pressure transmitters. This is the new uh, Heart EDD for that device, so it's going to have a look at some of the, the features within this and some of the, the, the noise enhancements that have been made to the way you program it. So, um, we've done an upload to the device, we go to the Quick Start Wizard, And under here, we give it the tag and any descriptions you want to give it. And then um, for this particular um, device, it's a, it's a non-contact sensor linear. And this value here, the 90 degrees, is set by the, the hardware uh, button on the PS2 that you can see there on the top left-hand corner. And then you've got here within the wizard your... Uh, tight closing up and down parameters and then you would just apply and transfer those to the device. So here we have the, the cockpit view. Um, I'm just going to update the diagnostics. So these are the new Namor diagnostic uh, statuses as well as the old um, symbols so the device is good, I can see my pressure uh, coming into my valve block, 6.1 bar, and the pressure going out is zero, and the actual position is more or less zero, and my set point is zero. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is on the, the predecessor to this valve positioner, when you initialized it, you would have to move the valve to you know, 20, 50%, something away from zero. Um, or so when you took the air off it could determine the direction of travel. Now this is a little bit nicer um, I just have to run the wizard and and then I can do the initialization. Um, of course it's, it's easy to do this via the push buttons I'm just showing you how you do this via somatic PDM. So we can start the initialization. So as you can see, uh, we have the new run 6, which is the valve signature test, which uses the pressure transmitters and the uh, set point uh, or readback to establish how the valve uh, performs. And you can see that on the diagnostic. can see here that this is the the last signature done so this is this is the valve going down and coming back up and you can see your pressure there and then this graph here shows your um, uh, your position and your pressure and what you can see here is where it's trying to establish what we class as the breakout pressures so we have a breakout pressure at the front end, so if I just move the graph a little bit you can see there, there's my, my breakout pressure for it um, going up. And then here we have the breakout pressure of the valve going down. So it, you can see here it's taking more samples because it's trying to establish, it's slowly taking the air off in small increments until it sees that set point start to move. And that should be fixed throughout the valve's life. So once you've done that, that is constantly um, logged. Um, we can do other uh, checks. So if you come back to your device, you'll see here um, wizard valve signature. So I can do another valve signature 
and compare it to the sa saved valve signature it did during its initialization. Now, of course, if you're a valve OEM, you have to be careful because the initialization that you do may be in a, a cold warehouse. And if this is a steam valve, you'll then put in this onto to something that's quite hot and the characteristics will, will change. So it's always worth doing your initialization when you're on the process um, at the running temperatures and, and everything else. So the valve signature is brand new. Also under diagnostics, you'll see this KPI and we've got the valve signature KPI and you can see here your, your operating hours and what you should see is when you look at these, you can see your break, breakout uh, pressure um, uh, position for return and your um, uh, rising breakout pressure, so from zero, if you like. And these over time shouldn't deteriorate too much. Um, if they are, that would be an indication that we have an issue with the valve. So there you have it, the initialization on the PS2 with the pressure transmitters now being utilized to establish the valve signature. Once the PS2 has learned the valve characteristics, you can actually see those values within PDM. So if we go to operation initialization parameters and you can see here, his or my my values. Now I haven't tried this yet, but this may be a nice feature that we can write these initialization parameters. This is always something that I've had a question mark over with the original Cypart PS2. That if you uh, fit that to to a valve, do you have to another do another learn? Well, here I can see um, uh, all of the uh, uh, parameters that it, it's learned to, during the initialization. Of course, um, we would have to do a, a another valve signature uh, on this particular one, but this would be enough to, to get us up and running. So you can see there, read initialization parameters and write initialization parameters. So there we have it, some of the new features just for the setup of the Cypart PS2. Thanks for listening, your support is very much appreciated. Don't forget to click on the like button and please share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for listening.